Hello, this is Debu Tripathi, Editor-in-Chief of Cure Magazine. I'm here at the San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium, and I am going to report to you on a couple of studies that uh, are looking at a very common treatment that we use in breast cancer, and that is chemotherapy. Now, people may ask what's new about chemotherapy, and it's important to remember that chemotherapy does improve survival. For certain patients, it's clearly important in lowering their risk of recurrence. We have spent a lot of time in developing tests to decide who should get chemotherapy, but there's still some questions remaining about what type of chemotherapy is best to get, and what are the side effects of chemotherapy, particularly can people die from adjuvant chemotherapy? So there were a couple of studies that were presented that are follow-ups from studies that were started a long time ago, but it takes about five to 10 years to analyze these studies. One of these, called the NSABP B36, was comparing a very standard chemotherapy that has been used for uh, almost 20 years called AC, and that's adriamycin and cytoxan, compared to FEC, that's 5-fluorouracil epirubicin and cytoxan, which is a regimen more commonly used in Europe. And basically, that study showed that the two were equivalent. But what was more important is they had long enough follow-up to see what other side effects were being uh, captured, particularly how many patients were dying from uh, the therapy itself. And it turns out that the numbers are similar to what we've seen before, but it really came into perspective, and many questions were asked about this. Uh, the death rate ranged anywhere from one to three in a thousand patients, which is, is a low death rate. It might be comparable to maybe a complex surgery, but it's not trivial, especially when one takes into account that some patients get uh, treatment for very small cancers. Their risk of recurrence and dying of cancer is already very low, and you may be only lowering it by one or two percent. So in these patients, it's very important that they participate in the decision and that they understand what they're getting out of it in their particular situation, and very important what the side effects are. There's short-term side effects that you recover from, and then there's some long-term side effects, such as neuropathy or weakness of the heart muscle, which are very rare, but still very important. And then finally, there is a small risk of death. And so that is something that was discussed wi widely, and I hope it's something that is brought up with every patient when they make this difficult decision.